Houston. Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. If you're looking to buy or sell an account or get your badges grinded, make sure you hit up Goat Plugged. The link will be in the description. You will now regret their services. Let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? It's the Go White Boy of 2K. It is Young Dirk. Today, we are doing a Michael Jordan 99 overall legend build in NBA 2K20. Now, first, in the comments, who is your GOAT? Jordan, LeBron, or Kobe, or other? Who is your GOAT? Let me know. I'll give you my opinion in this video, but let me know who is the GOAT. And like this video if you have a heart. And uh, so, Michael Jordan, legend build. Let me show you the badges, the attributes. This build is godly. This is my personal build. And I apologize in advance. He is left-handed because my player is left-handed. Obviously, Michael Jordan is right-handed. So let's look at these attributes. Build can do everything. Again, this is my build. Only thing that doesn't make this the like exact MJ build is his defense, but there really is no build to exactly make MJ just like there's no build to exactly make LeBron because they can both do everything. They are the GOATs. Same with Kobe, except maybe on Kobe you don't have to show him passing the ball. But this is a mid-range slasher that perfectly describes him. Jordan was like a shot creator though. So that's really like, I wish I had the shot creating takeover, but I don't, I have the playmaking. So I apologize, maybe like a pure shot creating slash, that's not even a build this year. But this, I think, is the perfect Michael Jordan build. If it's not, let me know in the comments. So here we got the badges. Clutch shooter, you already know, deep fades, was a post fade god. When I do these videos, and go on my channel, I have a legend, T-Mac and James Harden. When I do these videos, I try to make them exactly like the players with their badges, their attributes, how they look, the build. I even go in the roster and look what animations they have on exactly. I'm trying to bring the exact legend version of these players into the park with everything, bro. So I'll show you the animations, all that stuff. And I'm gonna show you the exact build at the very end of the video so if you want this build feel free to just skip ahead you don't really care about me but don't hurt my feelings so i really think you should watch this so dream shake hall of fame post spin technician hall of fame michael jordan was a very good post up player we all know this as you guys know michael jordan was a demon on defense got heart crusher on silver because you know he just breaks everyone's hearts off ball pass you know he was always talking crap and annoying whoever he was guarding clamps tireless pick a pot he's michael jordan okay a great clamp god so here's his exact animations except zach levine i didn't have the michael jordan dunk package unlocked so i put on zach levine so jordan could dunk how he does so let's get on to the gameplay let's talk some basketball you don't want to miss anything who's the goat let's get right into the gameplay Brrr. all right so we got benny the bull he's also a legend we got michael jordan this is my player creation look like him i feel like i did a pretty good job making him look like Michael Jordan. So, Michael Jordan. Let's talk about the GOAT conversation first. I'm just going to give you guys my honest opinion. And let me give you guys some arguments too. Now, the most common argument, there's two of them, is the rings, okay? Obviously, if you go by rings, you got to give Jordan. But then if you go by rings, you have to go and give the GOAT title to Bill Russell. Okay, so that argument to me is invalid. If you're talking about the better player rings shouldn't matter this is like the better player overall if you want to count rings then you say bill russell is the goal so then the other argument is the eras so people say lebron could not play in jordan's era let's say he couldn't let's say it was too physical for the most athletic physical spec my phone just scared the shit out of me <laughs> sorry about that so as i was saying the most physical athletic specimen probably the most physically gifted athlete in history of all athletes across all sports couldn't handle in that era let's say he could not handle the physicality in the era you can make the same argument about michael jordan in this era now let me explain why you guys know in this era three pointers are a very important thing in everybody's game everybody has to shoot okay i'm sorry to break this to you Michael Jordan from three really could not shoot. He only attempted 748 of them and only made 267 of them. That's 32% from three. So that's just like the same argument as, oh, LeBron couldn't hand play in that era because of the physicality. You could say 
Jordan would have a, a tough time playing in this era because he couldn't shoot threes. Like, I hate the era. Like, the arguments just, an they annoy me. Like, that argument is annoying. Before I give you guys my opinion, listen to this. Technology over the past 30 years has advanced. Medicine over the past 30 years has advanced. Education over the past 30 years has advanced. Everything advances over time. You're telling me athletes don't advance? Think about that. So you're telling me everything advances except athletes. I'm here to tell you right now, LeBron plays against better competition. It's just, I don't want to say scientifically uh, proven, but everything advances. You cannot tell me that the athletes and players have gotten worse over time. The only way you could genuinely compare these two players, the only possible way is if you had a time machine and put one of them in the league at the same time with each other. That's literally the only way. You cannot compare. You can compare off stats. You can compare off who they're playing against, who you think they're playing against. Like, So, in my opinion, there really is no answer because it's kind of impossible to really de determine it. But if I had to pick, I would pick LeBron solely because he is doing crazy things against the best competition in the history of the NBA. And you can say, oh, Dirk, that's not true. How, how is that not true? One of the worst teams in the NBA today, if you take them in that era, they will be a playoff team just by the development over time of athletes. And you can call me crazy. You can dislike the video. And look at that cute Jordan pump fake right there. You could, you could do anything you want. This is just my opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. And I want I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments. I had I love talking about like players. I'm a big NBA fan myself. I love to just talk NBA anytime y'all want. So there's my little rant. I tried to play like Jordan in this video. So if you guys want to see the build, here it is. Alright, you guys. So here is the exact build. Make sure he's a point guard, a hand it doesn't matter. Jersey that doesn't matter. So Michael Jordan was 6'6 in the video. My player was 6'5. I didn't have Jordan's exact weight either. You want to make your player 6'5. Please do not just like get caught up in the moment. I know you want to recreate him exactly. Just give him some nice boots and make him 6'5. He'll be 6'6. You want to pick the playmaking pie chart. Now you can play around this with these attributes however you want. And I even played around with them. Make sure and you'll see. Look at the badges and make sure you don't give up too many attribute points if you already have the badge unlocked. So, for example, let's say your steal rating is a 68 and you have five defensive badges. You want to lower your steal rating to, like, the point to where it'll still give you the same amount of badges. This, You guys can see what I mean just by watching this. The badges are very important. We all know this. So make sure you balance out your attributes and um, badges very, very good when you're making any build, not just this build. Now, you guys, I recently started TikToks. I made a personal and I made a 2K one. I'm going to post two of my TikToks on this video. And if you laugh or think they're entertaining, please drop a follow. I'm trying to, you know, bring the goat gang to the TikTok, you know, you know what I'm saying? And follow me on everything. If you're not already, you want to make some money, go to Dirk's Money. That link will be in the description as well. So with the weight, you know, it really doesn't matter. Just leave it at stock, 199, whatever. Wingspan all the way to the left. Now, if you want to make him like Jordan, do the shot crater. If you want the best, I recommend putting it on Slasher because the Slasher badge is overpowered as heck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and subscribe to the GOAT gang. Look at my other videos. What are you waiting for? Have a good day. Look at these TikToks. Go out. <laughs> Hey Dirk, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you shave your head. What? I said I'll give you a hundred dollars if you shave your head. Okay. So was it worth a hundred dollars? <laughs>